Good morning, everybody. It is another wonderful day. It is Monday, and we are heading back to Community Independent Methodist Church to knock out as much as we possibly can, um, try and get there at 8 o'clock. But we have a hard stop at 12.15 because I have to drive down to Virginia Beach to help out another church down there that wants to put up um, lyrics and scripture um, to avoid uh, before they come back so that people don't have to be touching hymnals and Bibles inside the pews. So we're going to be helping modernize another ministry. So let's go ahead. I got everything in place, all the extra supplies. I actually brought my remember to put my punch down tool because I put everything at the front door so that I <laughs> make sure I won't forget it. See right, you see right there. Um, we got the two other boxes of Cat6 cable and I actually ordered another two, um, completely different color. Um, that way it's like with all the stuff I'm doing, I might as well have some supplies on stock. So we got about 4,000 feet of cable. Um, but the goal today is to do as much of the attic work as possible, feed over the cable so that we can daisy chain all of the cameras together, get our main line for the internet all the way to the back, do our access point, and at least get an idea of where we're going to put the security cameras. There's only three of them that's going to go outside. All the rest of them are going to be inside. So I kind of want to find where that needs to go um, and the path to get to those. Um, and we shall see what we need to do. Uh, but like I said, we have a hard stop at 1215 because it's about a two hour drive from here to Virginia Beach and I need to be there by three. So I'm giving myself some extra time to make it there on time. And then we gotta head back because we're teaching another class at um, eight o'clock once we get back here and there's something else that's going on. I can't remember, but let's go. All right, folks, so me and William were just game planning on what's gonna be done and he kind of let me know what he did. So what we he ended up doing is there's so much space behind this crown molding. So the cables for the cameras, instead of going and trying to get all the way, I'm um, getting all the way to the end um, of the ceiling to get over here. Actually, just put everything behind the crown molding because it's space. So all those cables are there and they end up in that corner, which honestly, originally, that's what I was thinking about doing before I knew that he had an access panel right here. So the cables that we got right now, that's how they're going to go. I am getting ready to pull um, four cables to go all the way back down the center and that's going to feed um, the security camera from up here. The internet is going all the way back here. What else? The run for the other TV, for the Ori, for the fellowship hall, that's three. And then four is gonna be for backup. Um, good to have it there in place. So I'm gonna pull that cable right now and then go back up in the attic on this side mount the security camera on one side then start mounting the other ones on the outside and then start doing cabling for all the other cameras here but the main thing is with this cable being ran we'll have internet in here and then we got to figure out the run of how to daisy chain these going through the crown molding so let's do that all right so i have the cables pulled for that but what i'm going to do now is finish up what i was doing in here get this camera mounted um run the cable up and there's actually um, a two by six there so I can't screw in that way so I'm just gonna put a little hole right there in that drop ceiling over there and then the cable is gonna drop down for the camera there run it over to the rack um, have that connected then that camera will be online and then it's gonna be actually in that corner where the network rack is or where the other cameras are going to be outside so that'll be easy to get to um take my ladder outside find a placement for those do that and then find a placement for the outside and then all the outside cameras are done all right one camera down five more to go all right so i'm sitting here trying to think what's the easiest way to do 
these cameras for the daisy chaining um, because we want to avoid having to run multiple cables so what I'm thinking is I have a bunch of boxes left over um, so my mindset is I'm gonna put a box in the attic right behind where that camera is um, it's an exposed stud so I can nail into that and I'm gonna put termination boxes um, cat six boxes in that and then I can run the cables any way that I need to. So the idea is I'll have a six plate. So it'll be in and out for that camera that's on that box. Then I'll have the in and out for the camera back here. And then I'll have an in and out for that one. And then I can just have all the loops there on what I need to do instead of trying to run everything all over the place so that would be my junction so I would just have a short cat six go from the in into the out to the other camera and vice versa I think that would be easier because all the stuff has to go up there anyway and I think I have a six plate somewhere so I had these four but I think I got one over here so um, where is it at I know I had it because I used it oh it's right there in front of me so the idea is I would repurpose this, have in and out for each one of the cameras. Sorry, William is pulling cable. I'm getting it out of the way so he can pull it easily. Um, but I'm gonna have the in and out on each one of the cameras here. And then I would just run the cable. So this is the in. That would be the cable that's already there, terminated, but then I would run it another extension to the back of the PTZ and then the out would go here as well too. So the out would just loop into the in right here, which goes to the other camera. The out from here goes to this one. I don't need to do that up here. So actually it'll be five instead of all six. So yeah, I think that'll work. All right, things are coming along great. We have all the cameras in here, except for the front two are um, connected to the remote. We got the images flipped because actually you can probably see it from here. So we got the image flipped, so that's good for the left and right. We have them hooked up to the controller. William has dropped the cables in here. They're somewhere in here. That's gonna connect the security camera, the internet, the run for the TV as well as the access point. That was the fourth, so it's not an extra, but good, we got them all. So I just need to find where they are, terminate them, run them back to up there, and then we are good to go. I just need to find where they were dropped at. Oh, that's right, he said he hasn't cut the hole yet. So that's fine. All right, so, yeah, what am I getting ready to do? I don't know, <laughs> got something else to do. So, oh well. Now I realize what I was gonna do. I was gonna take my ladder out here and cut the holes for me to run the ethernet cable outside um, for the two cameras over here because we already got the one up here. And now that I think about it, I need to start drilling the holes for the other camera. So one is gonna be for this door um, here, which is gonna be really tight because it's a bullet camera. Um, drill a hole there for that one because we got three on the outside four right here five is going to be in the sanctuary and where was six yeah because one two three four five six yeah aj your counting is off <laughs> so three outside one right here that's four at the door five and then the one in sanctuary that's six all right so the thought i was thinking about doing um with that box 
I'm gonna have to do back here, but we got this camera done and the ethernet cables, I don't know if you can see them, but they are right there, are not long enough to get back here. So what I'm gonna do is the exact same thing. I'm gonna put this box on the joist right there, um, run the cables in here, terminate all of them, and then do an extension to go back there. Boy, I am happy. Um, <laughs> we pulled the cables. We didn't get a chance to finish up everything, but I was terminating these blue cables that were pulled. Um, there's going to be three of them for internet. One is going to be the extension for the TV in the back. And I'm like, which one is it going to be? Which one is it going to be? And I picked one, being led by the Holy Spirit, of course. <laughs> and that was the right one. Yay! So let's go back here. And I'm out of time, so this is gonna be the last thing I do. Um, I need to find the TV remote here. And thankfully, all these TVs are exactly the same, and that one doesn't have batteries. Ugh. Need to find where the other one is. But um, we got it here, and maybe I can disconnect the internet from here so I can get a signal all right so let's see if we got the right cable here yeah. right am I missing anything this was the right cable that's going over Back. Hmm, let's see. All right, the box is getting power, but let me just verify this actually sending input um, number one that's coming from the ATEM here. I don't know, all of these are set appropriately so I'm not a hundred percent sure <sighs> there goes my goal of thinking hoping we can get this done mm. that's strange it's really strange oh well I do not have time to get that done let's just turn it off and turn it right back on as my last hurrah let's see if that does anything if not we'll just have to handle that tomorrow all right so i'm a little little bit bothered um it's a straight run and i'm not getting a signal um there so i i completely bypassed the the jack and everything like that. I just terminated one end of the cable, terminated the other end, and plugged that directly into the Ori, and I'm not getting a pure signal. So I don't know if I, I don't think it's the terminations because I put my um, line tester on there, cable tester, and it came back perfectly fine. So I'm not exactly sure what it could be. But what I'm gonna do is bring the my HD base T extender that can go 500 feet um, and just put it on there and see. Because if I put that on either end and um, and it's just the cable, and if I get it and the image comes up fine, then it's not the cable. It's just the the extender on that line for that run. I mean it's. It's, it's under, it's, it's barely, it's right at 97 to 100 feet. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm not getting a the signal there. And then that just raises my concern on the other TVs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna terminate the other um, lines there that are for the 75s that we're gonna hang on Wednesday. Um, and then see, do I get a signal there? I mean, it shouldn't be a problem because it's the same distance as that TV that's in the front, so I don't know. 
but anyway we're heading to Virginia Beach now to go do an on-site for a pastor down there and then we're heading back and then we got a class to teach at 8 o'clock so yay more driving <laughs> 